Praise, Praise Master, Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the King of Kings, and the Lord, Lord of Lords, the omnipotent and omnipotent. <laughs> Yeah. How you say that? I'm into science. God. I can't say that word. And I'm into science, God. <laughs> I, I've been hearing that, you know, from since, since I was little. So. My dad, my dad says it at the end of his prayer. Yes. Yeah, so. Yes. <laughs> awesome is our God. My wife had a word to you know, share with us to encourage us, encourage our spirit, lift us up, and uh, so we can also understand that everything and every plans and every possibility and every thing comes the right time yes the appointed time yes Amen. you know i just hear the lord say right now that people backslide because of this mm. people give up on god because of this mm. amen so what is this what is this i'm talking about um whether if you're a strong christian or a baby christian in christ uh we get weak yeah. because we pray and we pray and we pray and we see the scripture in the Bible that whatever you ask in Jesus' name, it shall come to pass yeah. to glorify the Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. Which is true. But listen, we have to understand as Christians uh, that everything that we pray, God is not going to be in agreement with those mm. prayers. Yeah. Because he knows the best for you. And That's this is true. a scripture that I want you to put in your mind. Okay. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you unexpected in. Yeah. God wants to give you unexpected in. Unexpected. And end. if he knows if it's not good for you, he won't give it to you. Mm -mm, Amen. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You can be praying for that man right now. I just feel the power of God. Wow. You could be praying for a man right now that you really want him to marry you. You praying for this relationship. You want him to be your best friend in a relationship. Wow. But God don't want you to be with him. Wow. He got somebody better. And that's the whole thing. You want these certain things, you've been praying, but God wants what's best for you. If you don't see an open door for you, he will close those doors. Yes. And sometimes he will open those doors for you to make that mistake to learn from. Wow. It. Okay. As Christians, as people of God, we got to know that we're going to go through some things as well. We're going to go through a lot sometimes. And sometimes some people ain't going to go through a lot. It depends on what God uh, knows what's best for your life. Sometimes people need to be taught the hard way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, some people need to be taught the hard way. Or, or sometimes God can see. No, it's not sometimes. But God can see um, what your future holds. Mm, mm, mm. And he don't want you to get in the spirit of pride. So he'll have you to go through all types of stuff so that mm. you could bring a good testimony yeah. to the body of Christ. I, I love what you just said. <clears throat> bring a true testimony to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. That take me back, you know, back in the day when I, when I you know, when my business yes. started crumbling. You know, my business was shaking so bad and uh, I, I was losing money. I was losing everything. I lost, I lost my shop. I lost everything, yep. you know. And what, I had only my, my passport and Chinese visa. I have a Chinese visa my passport and the Chinese visa visa is about to expire, so I need to go uh, to uh, you know I need favor from God. I need mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. so I can go to China and buy some goods. Yes, I was praying so hard. <laughs> I was praying night, morning, day. I was praying so hard for this favor to come. Yes. <laughs> And you know, I, I, I kept on praying. I kept on praying, and I, I, I was sit, looking at my visa, and it, the days keep coming close to expire. I was crying to God, not knowing that God has shut that door, not knowing that God has something planned already for me, not knowing. But I prayed that prayer. I prayed like crazy, I, I, so crazy, until God said to through a man of God that I have a better thing planning. Yes. And before we know it, that visa expired. And immediately that visa expired, I did not give up. Mm -hmm. I said, God, let your will be done. And immediately he turned things. He waited for that visa to expire so that I would come down. Yeah. And immediately he saw it, things turned around like mm -hmm. never. 
before. Wow, and turn into a great testimony. Wow. And that's the thing, I like what you just said. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. I always think of that when you pray. Let your will be done, Lord God. So that you you can't get mad at God. Mm -hmm. You can't be angry at him. Jesus prayed our prayer. Yeah, he even prayed. Yeah. And he let said, your let your will, will be done. Be done. Not our will, but your will. God can only just, uh, he can, he listens to our prayers, but he wants the best for you. Yes. And that's the whole thing. You know, as I don't know if any of y'all have any children, if your parents are not. But sometimes our kids can have a desires for things. And we know as a parent what is best for them. And yeah. they get upset. They get upset yeah. when they can't get their way. But we as a parents know, because that's true love. Yes. You know, I love saying the word love because love is a strong word. It's an yeah. action word. Yeah. It's a word. And it means a lot. It can mean multiple things. So um, that's all. God just love you. Um, stop having a baby fit. <laughs> <laughs> For those who was having a baby fit, I know everybody's not having a baby fit, yeah. but those who are crying and you can't get your way, God knows what's best for you. It's gonna things are gonna get better. At the end of the tunnel, there will be light. Amen. Mm -hmm. So don't mm -hmm. give up. Mm -hmm. Be strong in Christ Jesus. The yes. Bible says, "Let the weak say, say I'm, I'm strong." strong. Amen. Amen. And mm -hmm. just appreciate what He is doing. Boy, we At get least, mad sometimes, though. Yeah. <laughs> At least the life that you are living. Yeah. It's something yeah. that qualifies you to your destiny. Amen. 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 I like that. Wait, wait. Listen, I hardly bring up our t shirts that we have on our website. Uh, mm -hmm. But when we go to conferences, people always want them. <laughs> right? Yeah. So. Yeah. It's in the description box if you want to go to henrymonique.com. Mm. You want to represent Jesus Christ with your t-shirts. Yeah. We got some t-shirts there. We got cool Christians. We got praise master Jesus. And we also have a praying hand uh, type of emoji. Mm. Um, and people always, I'm not saying that because I'm, I designed the shirts. Yeah. But I'm saying that because it really happens. Like uh, we could walk down the street with our t-shirts. And people are always like, praise Master Jesus, you know, and we let them know that we have a ministry. But it just, it, it puts a um, a bright light on people's face. Yeah. Listen, I, uh, one time we, me and my husband, we was in, in, in the, the Dallas, like the city of Dallas um, at a zoo. And um, I began to see some Muslims. <laughs> I right. see some Muslims. And I had the cool Christian t-shirt on. Uh, they can't help but to just smile. Yeah, I'll say it. That, okay. Yeah. Christian. Come on, that makes a lot of Praise sense. Praise Master Jesus. If yeah. you at least you read it in your mind, you know that. Yeah. So um for some reason they smile at my t-shirt. And people feel more comfortable for some reason when they see that shirt, they feel so much comfortable, be like, wow, they I can tell that they just a friendly type of people. Yeah. They are fr they friendly in Christ Jesus. Yeah. We're not intimidating as come on, people we you know. We shouldn't be intimidating. We yeah. shouldn't feel like we too good to talk to other people. But so that that shirt will bring uh, the joy of the Lord in people's yes. heart, even if they don't even know Christ. But amen, amen. it's a start. Yes. But anyways, I subscribe to Henry and Monique. Go ahead and do so. You know why? Because it will automatically make you a cool Christian. Because cool Christians. We hang, hang out over here, y'all. God bless you.